Well, we get into a regular routine, I would say. Uh, the gear are well adjusted. Um, you know, we have gym in the morning, uh, training in the afternoon around game time, at least for the game two and three. And uh, from a training perspective, uh, we have we have definitely uh, ramped up the intensity. Bob always used the word foundation, and uh, there is there is a tactical foundation, there is a technical foundation, there is a physical foundation. So uh, so um, that's what it's about. The three games to come, and and we have. Uh, the work that we've done this week is no different than the work that the guys have done and the, the, that they know. It's just that we had more time in camp to prepare, which hasn't been the case in a long time. It's always easy to, um, to, not, to lose the big picture, you know, not to have the big picture in mind. And, and, uh, and I, I know it always sounds weird, but I think the last days are more about um, not doing much than actually uh, the opposite. So I want to make sure that you know, we've been doing some testing uh, as, as of late that, that has shown that our guys were, um, were almost already picking. Um, and then we want to make sure that um, we don't dig too much into the energy stores, that it's not the case against England. Well, we just want to make sure that our guys have enough energy in store, you know, and more. Um, so it also includes the, uh, the fluid, you know. The bottom line is where altitude and and, and it's sunny and it gets warm, not in the evening, but it gets warm and you sweat, you dehydrate much quicker than at sea level. And, uh, and we're ready for a 90 minutes battle. So, you know, enough carbohydrates, enough vitamins, and then uh, enough fluids. Nutrition is a very individual topic. Uh, the guidelines uh, remain the same, but how the players would, um, you know, apply those rules are very different, you know. Um, you know, you remind these guys what to do, a regular athlete diet, mostly carbohydrates, a little bit of protein in there, and, uh, and, and a little fat. You always keep an eye to make sure it's, get, it's being done, and, um, and you don't change a routine that has been uh, proven to work. You know, you have to have a, a larger intake, a bigger intake, you know. You, you can never go by the book, you know, so you have the, the usual guideline, you, you look at what your pee looks like, you know? And if you pee clear, then it means usually you have enough fluid. Uh, the darker it gets, the, the more, uh, the more uh, red flag, the more of a red flag it would send. So that, that's what it is. So basically, I don't want to give you a number between two times what you would drink at sea level. It's more, way more than what you would drink at sea level, but, but the, the ultimate test is always to see what, what your, your minerals levels are and, and what your pee looks like. The body and the mind work together. Some players have habits, they have things they like, they have things they like a little less. Obviously, um, some recovery drinks are proven to work. And, uh, and if you have the ability not to change the routine and, and, and put the players in the best condition, whether, if, whether it's the mental condition and obviously the physical condition, the nutrition condition, there's no reason why you wouldn't do it. And that's why we go to, a, we go to great length to make this happen. By the time the, the kickoff comes against England, we should be, uh, we should be good.